Phone calls and knocking on doors. The race for votes in the second congressional district in Omaha intensifies. Election day is now just four weeks away. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Early voting starts tomorrow. Tonight, we're getting an inside look at the Hillary Clinton campaign effort to get one electoral vote from Nebraska. Reporter Miranda Christian joins us with a story you'll see only on three. Miranda? The Clinton campaign is working hard in Omaha to get all potential voters registered and ready for Election Day. Tonight, campaign leaders say Omaha should make a difference in this election. Going door to door. Give us a call back if you and calling it. one by one. Hillary for Nebraska is fighting for an electoral vote from Nebraska's second congressional district. We believe having that kind of grassroots presence uh, in the state is what's going to help us win this congressional district. State campaign director Marlon Marshall was in Omaha Monday after the Hillary for Nebraska office won a challenge to recruit volunteers. Marshall says the campaign is working hard to get every voter behind former Secretary Clinton and winning this district is part of her plans. There, if you run a different scenarios, a different scenarios where she can get to 269 electoral votes, so if you get that one electoral vote, it could put her make her president of the United States. Marshall was hitting the streets, talking to potential voters. Set you up here and then... And when here rain here. halted, the door knocking... Hello, my name's Marlon Marshall. I'm he took to the phones. Marshall says the ground game is critical the next four weeks to get that face-to-face -face connection with voters. We have more offices, more staff, more volunteers, more of a presence, uh, and we believe in actually having one-on-one -on -one conversation with voters. Well, thank you so much for supporting Hillary. Volunteers say they want to help make District 2 blue this election. You know, I just want everybody realistically to get on board for what's right and, and a change to come. Marshall says the campaign hopes millennials support Hillary Clinton by voting November 8th. Uh, we believe there's a surge in turnout that could be higher than 2012. Uh, and I think we're going to see a large uh, portion of millennials as a part of the voting population. For now, there are no plans for any headliners from the Clinton campaign to stop in Omaha, but Marshall says it would be great to get someone here to see that full interview with Marshall. You can find that in this web story on KMTV.com. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News. And